All right, so we're going to be playing some Devil City Shootout by Z Manzilla. This is another uh, multiplayer map that he recommended for us to go ahead and play. And this is basically going to be a deathmatch map. Its map description reads basic 10 minute deathmatch set in a flipped mod of Devil City. Imp harassment, go for a high score. So it sounds like it's deathmatch, but there's also going to be. Uh, Imps, uh, I guess, <laughs> interfering in our combat. No, no, I, I, so I, I like that. It adds it adds an element of chaos. <laughs> I do like that, especially when you have like one on one. You know, it's good to have just the random imps running around and causing mayhem. Yeah, because you might it might be a way to find where people are. So I do like that. I do like that off the bat. Oh, that's true. I guess you, I guess it makes it harder to just like camp if there's like demons like giving away your position <laughs> especially for you Jordan known for hiding in rooms well I do love camping <laughs> yeah, I know you do <laughs> well I'll take a quick peek over at the author profile here yeah uh, we got Z Manzilla in his green uh, smiley armor uh, very nice <laughs> Author of 14 maps, very good upvote ra ratio across all of his maps, 88% up. Um, time played 15 days, so you know, <laughs> been playing playing yeah, quite a bit of Snap he, Map. He's he's played a map or two. Yeah, yeah, a map or two. <laughs> also, the author of Devil City Ransom, the very popular spotlighted map, as well as some others that are all very fun. So. Let's go ahead and do some Devil City shootout. Uh, okay, I guess it's saying I need to have somebody else have you host, I guess. Your internet's too slow, Jordan. Ah, uh, bullshit. I pay good money for my internet, damn it. <laughs> I have crazy fast internet. Uh, well, I don't know. I blame Comcast. They're bullshit. Well, that's what you gotta do, right? You have to call them up, complain about your internet being slow, and then they kick it up faster. I hate that I have to do that. <laughs> but I guess I, <laughs> I guess the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? So this map that blew is my mind when somebody told me that. Oh well, it doesn't blow my mind. I mean, they're basically like a monopoly, you know. They get. They, they make, figure if they can skimp people out, they will. You know who's going to know the difference besides maybe a gamer. Yeah. Well, the problem is they just make it so hard for everybody, anybody else, to compete in that market. Because anyway, I, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Snap Map. So, have you ever played the map that this is based on, Devil City Ransom? I have not, so I don't. I don't know. Okay, so you're going to be playing this from the perspective of it's just a deathmatch map. You're not going to get any of the the reference to uh, the map that this is based on. Well, here we go. It looks like he's altered it quite a bit. Oh yeah, this is cool. Oh, there's the imps. Oh. So this is a deathmatch game, so we're trying to... Uh, Kill each other. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, these imps really... <laughs> there in like every corner here first blood hell yeah Oop. get him boys <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> I had the imp doing my dirty work for me I wonder if there's any health up here. Ooh, chain gun. Looks like we have a two weapon limit. Double jump, I like that. I like how I can really climb around in this map. Oh, dang, you got me. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of imps out here. Holy cow. Good lord. 
He really went overboard with the imps. <laughs> That's okay. Keeps things interesting. There's his uh, signature dumpster. <laughs> oh, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it was taken from uh, this map. Stolen, as I say, even though I was just joking about it. Uh, somebody in the comments thought I was being... Uh, someone thought I was being serious when I was saying it was stolen. I just was joking about it. Well, the imps are actually kind of useful because they give you a way to... Uh get health back too. glory kill them oh they, they do drop loot when you glory kill them let me see well, that's a good I, thing though because I can stagger one you can here we go I don't know I don't think he I don't think they drop any loot Sure about that, George? Oh, uh, I guess I'll have to double check. Well, I knocked one down, Come and he, on. didn't, he didn't seem to drop anything. Yeah, doesn't look like they're dropping anything. Maybe they just dropped health, though. I don't know. Oh, do you have full health? Yeah, oh, maybe that's it. Do loot drops happen if you're, uh... Already full on health and armor? I don't think they do. Would think they'd still drop. Well, yeah, because you could lose health in the meantime, like, since you... <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, oh. Oh! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Well, hello, Mr. Ely. <laughs> Fuck. Well, well, we can, uh. Uh oh. Apparently, we can pick up grenades. Oh, really? I haven't found any yet. That doesn't mean they're not there. I really like that we can climb around on the ceilings, or on the uh, rooftops and stuff. Because that's one thing I was always trying to do in the regular Devil City Ransom, is like, try to get up on the rooftops and places I'm not supposed to be. Do a bunch of mountain goading. Oh no, that's awesome. I mean, it's basically a city here. Yeah, this is like, pretty much what the map looks like that this is based on. So yeah, that's that's why that map is so popular. One of the reasons is that he made a really badass looking city. I know, so much detail. God, this must have taken forever for him to build. Oh, okay, now I get, well, I got loot drops with the Berserk. Nice, you got the berserk. No, oh, it's I'll gone now. <laughs> <laughs> are you camping? I haven't seen you. Oh, there you are. Why don't you come up here and find out? Oh, damn. Yeah. Took you out. Um, okay, so it's a deathmatch, right? It is deathmatch, yeah. It's not showing score. our score, though, is it? That might be one good thing to have, is some kind of a counter that shows what the, what the tally is for, uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I had that mad look in my eye. 
That's what I was starting to get worried about as I saw that. <laughs> you wouldn't have a gun out, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Wow, this definitely, uh, this guy definitely put in some work making this city. No kidding. Isn't this nuts? Ah. That gun was not doing much of anything for me. I knew there was a reason why I pick up that sniper rifle. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, they do drop health on glory kill. I guess I just wasn't getting it before because my health is already full. Dang! Yeah. <laughs> I must have weakened you at least a little bit. Oh no, you got some you got some hits on me. Yeah. Felt like I got a lot of good shots on you. Dang. <laughs> what the gumble was that? Oh. Spawning effect. Uh oh, we're running out of time. I know. Uh, we gotta hurry up and do some more killing. As much as I like the the geo in this map, it's it seems like it's almost too big for deathmatch. But well, I guess it is a four-player map, so it could be more intense with four people. A, I think that's a big part of it. We're only playing two-player. Yeah. Seems like the way to play if you want confrontation is to go on the roof, though. Yeah, well, that's kind of naturally where everybody wants to go, because that's where all the armor and the the power-ups are. Oh, oh, I lost! Nah, uh, uh, I win. No, <laughs> oh, we were tied, too. How'd I lose? Uh. <laughs> Should have been a tie. Well, you should have uh, tried to do a little more fighting. All right, I'm gonna do uh, definitely gonna give this a vote up because that was that was pretty good. Custom geo deathmatch competitive. Yep, yep, all great. Maybe you won because you got more, uh, more imp kills, I think. Maybe that's how it worked. You think it's based on points? Like, killing imps? because we tied, so... Well, the map description does say go for a high score. So maybe so the maybe map... maybe it's like a combination of both. Because I, I wasn't killing as many imps as... I would have, I knew it made a difference. I figured it was just straight up like, me and you. I, well that's 
generally what deathmatch means. It's player versus player. Huh. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, I guess we could go into the map and, like, check out what the victory condition was. But, uh... Do you no, think it might have been... Have it, George, huh? You won. You won, George. I did win, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could explain why there was no, uh... That could explain why there was no, uh... Uh... A counter reminding you of who had the most kills because if the whole point was just you're going for like who has the biggest score but it wasn't really showing you your score either was it I don't think it was no I, I kind of found that part like it was difficult to really know where you were at it had been I don't, I don't know how hard it would have been to put like a like you could either have it be like a first place second place kind of thing or or just have a tally of everyone's score somewhere Yeah, I mean, that was definitely something. Uh, what do you think about the custom geo? Uh, I mean, obviously it was it was very well done. Uh, it was basically a little city. Yeah, which I thought I thought was really cool, and I don't know if there are any of the buildings you can go into. I I didn't go into any of them. I just went on the ramps on the sides. I don't think you can go into any of them. Um, and that might be for the better because I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I, cause I mean, honestly it, it, it was enough just trying to find you in this, in the city, <laughs> <laughs> like just trying to find each other. So it felt like it was kind of, uh, if anything, I feel like maybe the map could have been a little smaller, you know, for two people at least, you know, but at the same time, I feel like if you're going for, like, the engagement, I didn't spend as much time. It seemed like when we went to the rooftops, we, we encountered That's where all the combat you know? happened, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I do like, I do like that aspect of the map also. The fact that uh, there's sort of a natural draw to, like, w uh, work your way up to the rooftops because that's where all the armor is and the power-ups and everybody's just trying to get to the rooftop so that they can get super buff, right? Because you can armor up, you can grab that berserk and you can kind of uh, rule the map, if, especially if you grab that berserk at the right time. So I definitely but like the, the fact that you time, can go up to the rooftops. I'm, I'm still curious if uh, a major part of the game is actually just running around and killing the imps and the, the the team deathmatch side of it's almost like, or there's the deathmatch side of it. That's just, that's purely for just whenever you run into another player, you know, maybe you get points out of doing that, but that it's more about just tallying up the imps. Maybe, but I don't feel like that would be, then what would be the point of, of uh, attacking each other then? Like, because maybe, maybe you kill an imp and you get 300 points, and then you kill another player and you get 2,000. Yeah, um, it could be, yeah, it could be like that. Like, maybe you just get more points for killing players than you do for killing imps, so there's more of an incentive to do that, to get points. That, that could be how it is. Um, but I, I was under the impression that the imps were simply there as, like, a uh, environmental hazard essentially or a harassment or so that you could figure out says, where the other player was he says imp harassment uh to me when he says imp harassment i interpret that as like they're just sort of there to pester you like they're not necessarily the focus of the map oh no no that's definitely uh but at the same time i'm not sure how the scoring worked yeah exactly maybe like if you're tied because he says imp harassment, but then he also says go for a high score. So, uh, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it kind of. But then in the in the custom tags, it also says simple death match, which I interpret as just you know try to kill the other player as often as you can, which is like what simple death match is, you know. Um. And and making it more focused on points and killing imps and. And uh, maybe there's a, a making it all about p 
points uh, that to me that's not simple death match that's like uh a different variant of death match that i'm not familiar with it's a it's a less like confrontational death match because i guess in theory you could both just graze and never kill each other i guess it all depends on how the scoring was set up i I'd, I'd have to look back and, and look at the score but it didn't really show the score while we were playing did no it didn't um yeah uh hmm well do you want to get into some favorite least favorite uh well obviously the custom geo was my favorite um it's a, a whole yeah. city so obviously it was you know, it was it's hard exquisite not to point towards that the, the custom as far as like custom geo cities are concerned devil city is like the best that i've seen um i mean uh, most 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 maps that are like well known for being like city based shooter um you know snap maps they're pretty cheesy in comparison to the way devil city looks because there is so much it's not like he just made a big uh you know a big block and put in some tacky like squares for windows like he actually like crafted like you know framing for the windows and like gave everything so much definition and used decals and props in such a way that you could tell that there was like a lot of detail put into all the buildings and it wasn't all the buildings looked different too they weren't like the exact same building just copied and copied again you know oh no it was it was definitely the uh, the works you know next level when it comes to like decal and custom geo yeah and i also like as far as custom geo goes how in this version of uh, well, in this map, it's not just that he took his map Devil City Ransom and gutted it and just slapped on some deathmatch mechanic. He actually altered the Geo quite a bit just for this, you know. He added in a bunch of stuff that wasn't in the original map that this is based on. Even though it's obvious, if you're familiar with the map of uh, Devil City Ransom, that, that this is taking place in Devil City... Uh, there's a lot of original new geo that he added to it just for this map, and that's pretty cool, I thought. No, no, I mean, I, I don't have that comparison, so I don't know. Uh... Yeah. But, you know, it's probably good to get your perspective on it, too, as somebody who's never played the map that that this is based on. Um, because you're just seeing it as a... Uh, you're just seeing it as a deathmatch map. Like you're seeing, you're see. This is like your first impression of uh, anything to do with Devil City Ransom or any of that uh, stuff. So like, it's actually kind of interesting, probably, to get the perspective of somebody who is playing. Because I think most people who play this map, Devil City Shootout, are very familiar with the the map, Devil City Ransom, which is why they're playing this map in the first place. So. You you may very well be the first person to play this map who hasn't played the map it's based on. Oh, I feel special. Oh, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so your favorite thing was the Geo. Um, yeah, the, the Geo was 10 out of 10 if I had to put a rate on it. Doesn't get much better, I don't think. <laughs> um... My favorite thing I would say is I always like deathmatch maps where there's some sort of a of a big bad thing that the players can get to sort of dominate the map with and this map had a berserk on top of that billboard at the center of the map and that was kind of like uh the thing that everybody was sort of coveting to get because like if you grab the berserk assuming that the other player is not like on another rooftop with a sniper rifle aimed at your head <laughs> if you can grab that berserk and get the drop on somebody then you'll own the map or at least you know you'll get the kill right and i like that he had that set up and he had all the armor 
up top uh, also. So like, I like how there was a there was an incentive to sort of go up onto the rooftops because that's where all the goodies were. And I and and along with that, I really like the fact that you could climb onto the rooftops because that's one thing that. I always wished I could do in Devil City Ransom is just sort of like Billy goat my way up to the rooftops and just sort of mess around because like I you know I love climbing on top of stuff and you know doing all that and it was he 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 wouldn't let you do that in Devil City Ransom because you know climbing outside of the geo would have screwed up the map but in this map, he like fully embraced it. He's like, hey, I know you guys want to climb up on these buildings. <laughs> I'm actually giving you the chance to do that in this deathmatch map. Climb away. And he, <laughs> he made it very easy for everybody to just sort of climb up onto the buildings and do all that. So that was my favorite thing is just climbing up onto the buildings uh, that normally you're not able to get on. And, and there's all those goodies up there for you to grab. Yeah, I guess that's a perspective I, I don't have because I never played the first map that this based off. Right. Um, what would you say your least favorite thing was about the map? Um, it wasn't anything that really stuck out to me with the gameplay that was really wrong. Well, uh, I'll give I you a, the two. The, I have two a... the two things that come to mind right away is um, not really a clear understanding of how the scoring system works. Yeah, and I agree with no that. And no way to view what your score is during the game. Yeah, yeah, I pretty much agree with that. Um, that was a big issue for me. Is like, who's even winning? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> normally in a death match like okay even in that awful death match map we played uh mono's dm at least you had the teams you had the score there you knew who was winning so as far as death match mechanics uh <laughs> um yeah it, it would have been nice to know who's winning before the map ended yeah, because then I'm sure maybe had we realized we were tied, there would have been a greater push to try to to find each other in the last minute because then it would have been like we realized it would have been like the final shootout. Right. That's that's the big thing. It's just it's just sort of confusion about what your your actual goal is. Is it to get the most because it's kind of conflicting information as far as the map description and and all that it's like am i going for a high score like it says in the map description or is it simple deathmatch where i just got to focus on killing the other player and the imps are just there as an environmental hazard and you know they're just there to uh to sort of fight you and you can glory kill them and and you can get your loot and and they're there to sort of give you away if you're camping cuz they'll you know they'll throw their fireballs at you and that's actually one thing that i think is far as like that they added because this map is so big and sprawling and so easy to like not find another person in that it actually that was one thing that the imps did contribute is like you could look down and if you saw the imps throwing their fireballs in a certain direction you'd be like okay the the other player is probably over there somewhere and that was actually helpful for me in trying to track you down sometimes is like this is one of those maps where it can take a while to find each other and but i do think the imps were good at uh i given that away i didn't spend as much time trying to track you down per se maybe as much as you did but you could you, i did notice sometimes when you were close by that i would notice the imps weren't looking at me and that would be like almost like a early warning system that there's a player nearby yeah absolutely uh so you know, since since I was gonna go with uh, not knowing whether uh, I was gonna go with what you went with, with not knowing whether it was high score or or kills that was the ob the objective here. Uh, but since you went with that, I'm gonna go with just the amount of time between uh, 
between battles, you know, I felt like maybe the map was a little bit too big or that maybe it could have been it's just I felt like too much time elapsed between the times we would fight each other like I like death matches death match maps where you're running into each other maybe every 30 seconds or so like this map it felt like it took a bit longer and to me, that's where deathmatch maps tend to stall out, is if there's too much time that sort of elapses between encounters. In some ways, I it's okay, like, if it's, like, you know, it can build suspense in a way, but, I don't know, it, it could just be the way we played. It's, as much as I like that there's a big, beautiful map, it's, mm, I like things that are a little more intimate and close and, and, a little bit more action-packed but I feel like that's gonna be an issue whenever you have a a death match when there's two players I mean that's generally death match across if you're talking just generally about death match you're usually talking about at least eight players sometimes 16 um, okay well no it, I that's a that's a valid point like uh, you know we, we were only playing two player here if there would have been three players or even four players like that wouldn't have even been an issue at all for me. So I'm not suggesting that the author needs to like <laughs> the author needs to like uh make his map smaller, but just as far as a two player play is concerned, it did seem a little sluggish as far as the action. If there were three or four players then there would have been plenty of action to go around. And that's another thing that happens in deathmatch is like whenever there's two people fighting, uh they're giving away their positions so much that it starts to draw in other people because <laughs> they notice the the action and then they'll like zero in on where the combat's happening and then you get these big brawls that break out and that that just, that just can't happen in two players so so even no because yeah because one person loses his guns the other person is low on health it usually is like that scatter moment and then people meet back up for combat that's a two-player death match exactly so uh yeah i mean it was a fun it, I, I, it was a good map for sure i mean god compared to so much of what's out there in snap map this is like <laughs> a diamond um but yeah it, it, it would certainly be nice if if the author was maybe a little bit more clear on on what the objective was maybe give you some uh some idea of who's winning that well, would be uh, one thing that uh, I I would advise towards the author is you have to show the score. If you don't have a score, then or you don't have a way of knowing what place you're in, it it makes it really hard to know what level of intensity you should have towards the end of the game, because usually in a death match, you're either in the lead and you're just trying to get a couple more or you're behind and you're you're really trying to push and and try to take out the top guy so that would be my advice is to edit the map such that one you play you re you you know where you stand yeah unless that's part of the the game is like oh no i'm not going to tell you who's winning <laughs> like you just sort of have to have a you just have to sort of have a sense of who's winning and then be surprised at the end who actually won. <laughs> well, we have a saying for that. That's that's a non-value added feature. <laughs> 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 if that was the intent, it's a it's a drag factor. <laughs> well, I was trying to I was trying to give him some credit maybe for what he <laughs> what might be going on with this. <laughs> Trying to be charitable, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, are you ready to call that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to call set? it. So that was Devil City Shootout by Z Manzilla. A really fun uh, deathmatch map. I would definitely recommend it for four players as opposed to two, just because it's such a big map. Um, but it definitely had a lot of detail, and it it played well it did play well as far as what was there i love that there were imps there was a lot of good things going for it so it's definitely worth checking out if you're into deathmatch so thanks for watching and until next time peace out <laughs>